everybody and welcome to the month of August Biggin and Scott Lifestyle Market Wrap Up. We've got some exciting news coming across from the residential and the commercial side. Uh, Tim, would you like to start us off with how the res residential side of the business is going? Yeah, I there's some very um, exciting news um, about to join the Knox Marketplace again. Definitely, yeah. So we're growing at an absolutely rapid rate. Um, so much so that we've got a fourth office opening up in Bayswater. So um, that's exciting news coming ahead, you know, sort of taking over the whole municipality of Knox as Yeah, it is. yeah, I think that's a big positive also for the owners with it, that are listening to, um, looking to list their properties for yeah, the city definitely. of Knox. You get four agencies for the price of one, correct, essentially. Correct, and you're dealing with four times as many buyers as any other agency in the, in the city of Knox. Yep. I mean, the biggest thing, like we all know, is a lot of agencies will go in and, and, and say that they've got multi-office networks. Mm -hmm. um, but in all honesty, all the offices that, or majority of the offices that are claiming that mm. are all owned by individuals. Yeah, they're franchised. Um, yeah, they're all franchised to different people. Whereas with us in the municipality of Knox, um, at the moment we've got Baronia, Wanturna and Rogel. Bayswater to come are all owned by the, the same, same people. people. Yeah, no, it's very exciting news. It is, yeah. What about the Knox market overall? How's that going? Oh, it's been phenomenal in the last month. It's been really good. Um, I mean, overall as it is, we had the records come out, or the results come out the last month, which showed Bigger and Scott Knox coming second in the highest commission out of all of Victoria. It's exciting. Yep, yeah, second good. in the most amount of listings. Um, and also second in the amount of net increase on rentals, which is fantastic. Beautiful. Um, along with that, we also had um, Grant Gardner, yep. um, our sales manager at One Turner, who got number one in the network as most sales and most listings. Excellent. So it was actually very, very good month and, and looking forward to a lot more to come. Beautiful. What about numbers through the opens? How are they? Very, like, it's it's been ridiculous. Yep. We had a property that hit the market um, after the first open at Grogan Court, 13 Grogan Court in Bayswater. 33 buyers through the first open. Um, for you know a three bedroom plus study or four bedroom home Good numbers. Um, in in Bayswater, yeah. yeah, it was ridiculous. Sold after the first open, so overall numbers have really increased. We had a little bit of a weird patch um, where buyers were sort of not not so much lacking confidence, but more in terms of stock or whatever it was, but at the moment it's just gone through the roof, so we're getting really good numbers through our opens. Beautiful. Now August sales, what would it be a couple of standout sales? Oh, there was, there's a few that really stood out. I mean. Grant, also, again, the sales manager of Juan Turner did an auction um, at number three, Salisbury Court in Juan Turner. Yep. Just phenomenal. I mean, absolutely amazing. Ended up selling at 975500 Wow. Um, which, in all honesty, I never thought it would get to, to that sort of level. Yeah, good numbers. Um, good, good numbers. There was, there was close to, I reckon, personally, 150, 200 people at the auction. Yeah. It was ridiculous. A whole mix of neighbours that were looking in the area as well as actual bidders. And I think there was something like four or five live bidders on the day. Okay, so like it just shows that, yeah, there is... Strong competitions and the auctions are working. Correct. And again, it comes down to how a campaign's run. I mean, the campaign was run beautifully um, with the amount of buyers that come through the doors, through the opens, all that sort of stuff. It just worked perfectly. There was actually... One other one in Baronia, there was a, a, a three bedroom, one bathroom. Okay. Original condition, built in 1970s, yep. um, which was 46 Carrawood Drive in Baronia. Yep. Now, just a quick story about that. Next door did go with another agent um, and was fully renovated. So the clients have spent close to $50,000 renovating the home. Again, three bed, one bar. Um, and that sold at $650,000, okay. which was a fair, 651 was a, a reasonable price. So, basing on that, with the, the, the strategies we put in place to, to sell 46 car, we ended up selling at $630,000 unrenovated. Okay. So, essentially, the client saved themselves. Still 30 grand yeah, in their head. Yeah. They didn't have to put the 50k Correct. in. Correct. Okay. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So, it's just um, with the prices they're getting at the moment, I mean, it just purely comes down to the agent you select. Yeah. Um, we'll get you more money. It's still a strong, really strong belief. Yeah, make sure that they're obviously a specialist within the local area. Correct, yeah. Um, and how to attract the right demographic for the buyers through a strategic marketing campaign. Exactly right. Uh, what about leasing? How's that going? <laughs> well, they come second in the network, in the entire network, in the um, the most amount of net increase uh, Very in good. rentals. There was one in particular that stood out at 2 slash 78 uh, Bonavista Road in Bayswater. Yep. It's Rented out at $450 a week. It was just... Wow. And it, after the first open. So we're seeing people get a lot more aggressive really quickly and not wanting to miss out, not yep. even waiting to the second or third open. People are coming up to us you know, especially in both sides, the rentals and the sales, coming up to us saying, we want to put an offer in. You know, yeah, yeah. Let's let's start the negotiation process. Oh, very interesting. No, it's been it's been similar to the, in the commercial. There was a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit activity. of a period where we didn't know what was going on. I think that was because of um, people were waiting for the end of the financial year to see yeah. their accountants and the election and all yeah, that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah. But it's been going quite well. Last month, um, we've got some exciting news. Renee Najar has joined our team. She's yeah. um, doing property management and it. leasing. 
She leased, I think, six last month uh, in her awesome. first month with us. A couple of standouts there would have been 29A Redland Drive in Mitcham. Uh, that achieved $90,000 per annum. Um, there was a few, she leased three in Burgess Road, one which another agent had had for about a 12-month period before us. Oh, wow. We took it on and managed to get 42000 for that, and that was two at five Burgess Road in Bayswater North. Um, there's too many to mention and go through them all, but those two really stood out as um, how the strategic marketing and negotiating to find that right tenant and secure in a great lease there. Yeah, and in regards to the sales section of the commercial industrial, um, a couple of standouts for the month of August we had was 272 Dorset Road in yep. Baronia. Mm -hmm. It was 105 square metres of retail space, yep. 340 square metres of land. Now that was scheduled to go to an auction. And what we did, we used that auction date as a negotiation point, mm -hmm. uh, and we achieved 480,000 and we sold it just before the auction. So it was 105 square metres. 105 square metres. Wow. Great uh, price. Another one would have been 14 at 50 the more in Baronia. Now anyone that is familiar with that actual complex, uh, there's a number of vacancies in there. Uh, and I, to be quite frank and honest, I can't remember the last one that actually sold uh, because I do sit on the market for quite some time. We managed to sell that one, 14 at 50, uh, for 250,000. That was 163 square metres. Wow. Uh, so there are things that are shifting in the marketplace. Yeah. One to look out for is one at 48 uh, Holloway Drive in Bayswater. If you are an investor, that one's on the market with us currently. Um, along with a number of other ones if you check our website, but that's a good little investment, returning 38000 uh, and that'll bring up a good little return. I hope to have it sold next month. Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> so, oh, and all the commercial's going quite strong. Once again, it is important to select um, a specialist in that field. Um, Tim's residential, I'm commercial, and we do different things. Even though it's both labelled real estate, yeah. uh, Tim and the team um, throughout the network is obviously the professionals that are dealing with the residential. Um, Renee, myself, and the commercial team are the specialists that deal with commercial. So when selecting an agent, make sure it is their primary business uh, and what they do to make sure you get the most out of that agent. It's 100% uh, it's correct because at the end of the day, I mean, when it comes down to dealing with commercial, as much as I love it, it's not my forte. So no. there's no point in it actually costs the owner's money for me to dibble and dabble in commercial. It's better off passing off to a professional that knows what they're doing and exactly the same in the, in the residential department. Yeah, 100%. And for any other agents out there that do come across clients that need assistance in the commercial, we do offer referrals. Um, so if you would like to have a confidential discussion regarding that, we're obviously um, happy to refer yeah, to that business. So we do appreciate all that. But all in all, for any commercial, industrial, uh, even Einstein Finance is doing, a, they're helping get a lot of deals across, yep. the, um, across the line at the moment. The bank's interest rates, money's cheap and they're finding real good deals for the client, allowing them to spend more on their investment, whether it be the commercial, the uh, residential, or even their, their next home. They're spending that little bit more because they're getting better deals through yep. the bank. So speak to us about Einstein Finance and we can refer you on to Jin. Um, but anything else, yeah, feel free to give our office a call, drop in for a coffee, uh, and then we'll see you all uh, in September.